Hello, I'm Louise and this is the Pilates for Busy People weekly show. This week I talked to Lisa Hilton, a client of mine who has had a prolapse disc high up in her spine. The effect was dramatic, but I'll let her tell you all about it during the show. Before I start the show, I wanted to tell you about my new Facebook group, Pilates for Runners. It's a group for marathon runners to 5k runners, or if you are thinking of starting out running. Pilates should be an important part of your training regime to make you stronger, your technique better, and maybe even improve your performance. So come over and join us. I'll put the link below in the notes. So let's get on with the show. So welcome to this week's Pilates for Busy People weekly show. And this week I have Lisa with me, who's going to talk about a, a um, well, she's had some recent surgery and how Pilates has helped her, I hope, um, getting, getting back uh, from surgery. So Lisa, before we start, just tell us a bit about yourself and what you do. Um, hi, I'm Lisa Hilton. Um, I'm a director of Hilton Creativity, which is a company with my husband. Yes, we work together. <laughs> We enjoy it, strangely. Uh, we do graphics, uh, graphic design, um, bits and pieces, website design. Uh, he's a musician, so he composes a lot of music. And we also write, we've just finished writing a uh, musical for primary school children. And I'm in the middle of writing a panto for primary school children. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Brilliant, good, excellent. And you have two sons as well, don't you? So I have two sons, one eighteen and one sixteen. Yeah. So um, yeah. So life is busy. But anyway, so this year, I suppose it was last year, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you. Well, can you tell us what happened? Yes. Um, it was last beginning of last May. I woke up one morning and I had um, pins and needles and numbness down one side. So I ignored it for a little while, thinking I'd slept for me or whatever, but it didn't go away. Um, went to the doctors and after various tests, including an MRI, they discovered that I had a prolapse disc. It was uh, quite high up in my neck, so it was affecting, it was pressing on my spinal cord and it affected, you know, my whole body really. It, yeah, I mean, I, I saw Lisa during this period and the deterioration was unbelievable, wasn't it? I had to wait for three months for the, for the operation. And in that three months, I, I went downhill quite quickly. And towards the end, I think it was when you saw me just before the operation, I couldn't, couldn't walk very well, uh, couldn't raise my hands. So my husband had to wash my hair and um, I couldn't um, hold a knife and fork very well. Um, you know, so it was quite catastrophic, really, towards the end. Yeah, no, it was. And, and you obviously couldn't walk very well with the no, aid of it, wasn't it? No. Yeah. yeah, so it was about five months sitting, sitting around doing nothing, getting yes. fat. <laughs> but it's but you had surgery and I have been absolutely amazed. I mean, look at you now. So you're sitting there and you wouldn't have known uh, what, what's gone on. So what have, so we know that you've got weaker down one side. Mm -hmm. and and so you obviously after you got the all clear which was how many weeks after it was quite soon after wasn't it that you were able to come back and do stuff yeah I had the operation at the end of July and there was I went to physio for about six weeks to two months I think and then I think really I was back at Pilates was it October November time I think yeah. something like that, it, when they gave me the all clear I mean you know I've still got issues um, I think we will have, you know, uh, the damage was, was, you know, quite bad. Um, all the feeling and stuff has come back now. Um, I still have an issue with sort of like a balance issue and my right hand is quite bad. By the end of the day, it's kind of quite hooky. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but okay this morning. Good. good. Um, yes, so, so it was about October, yeah. Yeah, so what made you decide, because you you've done Pilates with me before and then you've had a little uh, break because you've been doing yeah. lots of other things, uh, but what made you think actually Pilates is going to be the one for me? I really think what was in my head at the time was core strength. I'd lost it all. It was a bit like having a baby because yes. The, it, I was, you know, not paralysed, but, you know, numb, basically all over really towards the end. It, it, I could notice it more in my stomach. I felt very, very heavy. It was like I was dragging 20, 30 stone around, you know. So yeah. I knew I'd lost my core and I knew that um, uh, I was just very, very stiff. Uh, in in the top half, which I think traditionally I am anyway. Yeah. Um, I just knew that it would it was the right thing for me to do. 
I, could, I can't exercise anymore. I can't run. No, because obviously the risks are too, yeah. are too great. Yeah. So you've done it since October, November. And yeah. what? And we're now, so we're recording this in um, March, aren't we? End of March. March yeah. <laughs> it's going too quickly. Um, yeah. So what have you noticed? What changes have you noticed in your body since you've started doing Pilates? Um, I'm not so wobbly. So overall strength, particular core strength is now coming back. Um, strength in my legs it, that's that's I've noticed that a lot um, but not only that that sort of physical side it's that mental mindset that that changes a lot as well I never I don't stop thinking about Pilates now all the time throughout the day Fab, because that was one of my questions <laughs> that, 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 that's really really um brilliant to hear because people just think well people have got perceptions about pilates anyway but people think that it's just you know doing your your core and whatever but it is an all over yeah thing with the mindset as well because i think you have to focus so much when you're in pilates and i've noticed that with you so when lisa started back again as she said she was really wobbly and and i took her she, she'd done it before so she sort of knew the basics didn't you yeah. but we took it really, really slowly, didn't we? In fact, I was probably <laughs> overcautious. <laughs> but I'd seen where you were, and I, you know, I wanted to help you get back to it, but uh, to where you were before. Um, so it's fantastic to hear that the you think about it all the time because I do, but I teach it, so you know. Yeah. Um, it's things like walking the dog. You know, walking along, and I'm holding my stomach in. Yeah. You know, in the in the, uh, in the queue in the supermarket, I'm sort of you know trying to be in neutral position. You know, it's those, it's those sorts of things. And the biggest one for me is holding those shoulders down. You know, you say about the armpits. Yes. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Which is brilliant because you can visualise it. That yeah. that's the thing. And I'm there because I, honestly, I can I can walk around like this, and I'm like, it's absolutely hideous. And I constantly, constantly are reminding myself to you know drop my shoulders, lower the armpits. I just hear you in my head. <laughs> I love it. My ears are burning all the time. <laughs> No, that's that's absolutely fab. So um, I've noticed that your your balance has become, but you you're not quite sure what what's, what's happening with the balance, are you? Because you yeah. you don't think it's the sort of inner it's ear not, thing. I call it balance, but it it's not an inner ear thing. I don't feel dizzy or anything like that. It's just it's like I suppose because the pressure on the spinal cord, you know, was such it it affects your whole body, and I just find it. It's like a slight delay in head to limbs. Yeah. And um, so I can, as I'm doing something and then, you know, say for instance, like a lunge, you would say, put your right leg forward, and, you know, and I'm thinking, right, which is my right leg? Which, oh, right, that's there. How do I get back up from that? It's just, everything's a bit more difficult for me now. Yeah. But, but, I've, but I've also seen that improve. Yes. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we've been doing uh, lots of squats and leg work as well, haven't we? Because yeah. again, uh, I, well, mainly because I've got a load of older clients as well and it's really important yeah. to keep strong. So, um, really yeah. yeah. So as uh, when I had the GP, Georgina, the GP on a couple of weeks before, she was talking about strength and balance and we need yeah. to, in our forties and our fifties, yeah. we need to be working at it, even though we think, so actually you're setting yourself up for, old age <laughs> that's the wrong yes, so you yes yeah absolutely so you do you do a weekly class with me what I are, do. yeah so you said you can't do running and stuff like that so, but you're obviously yeah. walking your dog what yeah. else are you doing anything else are you doing anything at home to i do um i personally f for me the class during the week isn't enough you know i need to do other stuff and certainly yeah. there's there's a couple of your 10 minute ones that i absolutely love yeah. um they are and i keep going back to them as well you know you Ooh. find ones through stitch you keep going back so there's one that you do strength and mobility it's number yeah. 54 i think or something like that and there's a membership if you if you're not aware of it i do a 10 yeah. minute um pilates membership which is an online membership it's 10 pounds a month and there's wow. and i've just been programming in the 70th uh, video so there's loads of yeah. videos to choose from. <laughs> As Lisa says, you tend to go and do the ones you like. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, there was one for running people, which obviously, you know, although you probably would be beneficial. Be absolutely you know, fine. Just seeing one. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> you know, I do tend to go back to the, my favourites. And I love the, uh, the desk to stretch that you do on a Thursday. 
I never, yeah. I never quite managed to do it live. I think I've only ever done it once live because of the timing. But I do do that in the evening. And actually, I did it this morning. <laughs> I did first thing this morning. I fell out of bed and straight into 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 the stretch one. Yeah, no, it's great. I can't can't do without it. It gets me moving. Yeah. If I didn't do it, I would just be so stiff all day. It's just not worth missing it. And it and it's interesting, isn't it? Because it's like something happens in our lives, and we suddenly become really aware of it. And 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 that is most people who start pilates have had an injury or a trauma or something and that's yeah. what they do it and i just i mean i don't think if you'd been doing it regularly beforehand that it would have made any difference to what happened to you yeah but yeah. um i just wish that people would start coming to pilates <laughs> earlier on to, to before, yeah and it's yeah. as you were saying there's videos uh, in there for running cycling there's the skiing yeah. It's all part of your training for, for the sport mm -hmm. you do as well. So it's, um, so it's really good. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's fantastic. Some really great points you've made there, Lisa, about sort of the fact that you're now a Pilates person, but you think about it all the time, <laughs> uh, yeah. which is great. And, and that you have to do it regularly and you'll oh. see the benefits of that. And that is so, so important. So I think we'll leave it there. But thank okay. you very much. Where can people get hold of you if they want to find out more about what you do? Oh, well, uh, we, we've got we'll a website. Put some links below, but have you got websites? And yes, website hiltoncreativity.com, so you can go on there and have a look at what we do. Yes. Fab. So I will put some links below as well. But um, yeah, thank you very much, Lisa, for becoming part of the show. No, thank you. Couldn't have done it without you, Louise, honestly. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Bless you. Take care. If you have enjoyed this week's show, then let me know below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on next week's show.